Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. In today's tutorial we're going to work on the snowman. This is part of the advent calendar but you can also use these as mini decorations for yourself at home. So what we're doing today is that we're working on the snowman and the snowman's pretty easy to do. It's just a matter of a shape and then there's some embroidery work in order to finish it and the directions are just like you see here. So without further ado let's start working on the snowman together. So when you break down the snowman all you just have here is that you just have a little small area here and it's like a ball. If you remove the scarf which is removable unless you want to tack it permanently um, then you can actually um, just see that it's kind of like a teardrop shape and it's really quite an easy th uh, thing to do. So um, let's begin working on this. You'll need a five millimeter size H crochet hook today and some yarn to play. So let's begin using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. I'm using off white because it's easier to see here on camera than it is pure white. So let's begin. We're going to chain a total of two. We're starting at the top of the head. So one and two and in the very first chain right here, second chain from the hook, I want you to put in eight single crochets in there. So let's do that together. So one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if you're not sure just count it back backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then just slip stitch it to the eighth one back or just to the beginning. Whatever is easier for you to identify. Slip stitch it to finish that off. So that was round number one. So rounds number two, three and four. Okay so we're gonna do round number two and it says to repeat it twice more. So what we're going to do is round two, three and four all being the same. So you're just gonna chain up one and then in each stitch you're just gonna put in one single crochet. So this is keeping the top of the snowman head nice and condensed. So it's gonna be one single crochet in each going all the way around and then you slip stitch it to bring it to a conclusion. So I'll be there in just a moment. Okay. And once you come all the way back around like I am, slip stitch it to the top of the first one and then do that two more times. So chain up one, one single crochet into each, slip stitch it and then do it one more time and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So now that I have that been completed now, so rounds number one, two, three and four are done. So now we're gonna move along to the body. So the body to start is going to be chaining up one and then it's gonna be two single crochets into each of the stitches going all the way around. So instead of one that we had been doing, it's now gonna be two and this will grow at the body of the snowman. So please place in two single crochets in each going all the way around. When you get all the way back around, you're just gonna slip stitch it to the first single crochet. So you can see it's kind of growing out a bit. So now the next round, so now two, three, four and five. So four rounds are gonna be exactly identical. It's just chain up one and one single crochet into each. So please do that for four rounds and then meet me back here and uh, get your stuffing ready because we'll just have to lightly stuff the inside of this if you wish to do that. So just one single crochet in each for the next four rounds. Okay so now that I have that done what I'm going to do then is the final round is gonna be really quite easy. Just chain up one and we're gonna single crochet two together all the way around. So just coming into the first one, insert in, pull through, go into the next one, insert in, pull through. You have three loops on the hook, pull through all three. So keep doing that all the way around. So into the first one, pull through, into the next one, pull through and then pull through all three. So in, pull through, in to next one, pull through and then pull through all three. So do that all the way around for this one. Actually it's just gonna take me just a couple seconds here. 
and then what we're going to do after this is that we're going to lightly stuff it and then I want you to leave an extra long tail of this when we go to finish this and we're gonna pull it tight along the bottom to bring it to conclusion. So just two um, together all the way around. Just like you see there and then just attach it to the top of the first one that you did. So you're gonna have be left with a little hole here. So just leave an extra long tail. You're gonna use that to bring everything to conclusion. So just pull this loop through. Okay, so just pull that loop through and just grabbing some light stuffing. I want you to just put it inside. You don't have to do be too crazy with your stuffing. It doesn't have to be bloated. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can do that and then what you're going to do is that you're going to take a darning needle and you're going to insert the yarn in to the darning needle of course and I want you to go around and collect the loops. Okay, so just collect and don't pull it anything tight until you get to the end because that's the fun part. So don't use up the fun part right away. So I'm going into each one of the stitches all the way around. You notice I didn't overstuff this at all. So make sure you got enough stuffing in there before you do this because it's impossible almost to add more stuffing. It's not impossible but it's not fun to do it afterward if you don't have enough in the first time. And of course you gotta do two of these for your decorations as well. Okay, so then what you're gonna do, once you have that all the way around, just pull on it and it will pull everything nice and tight here. And then I want you to go across diagonally. Okay, and then go in the other way, diagonally the other way to pull it in. And once you have that done, you're just going to go in and out total three times to conclude. So this is clearly the bottom of your snowman. Okay, and then you can cut that out. So you notice my snowman's not too like bloated. So you can see that they're not kind of crazy in that way. So now what we're going to do then is that you can just shape it if you want to. So you can either have it like completely all the way around or you can kind of like squish it flat if you want to to match other decorations. But now we're going to decorate him up completely. So let's begin to do that next. So let's begin to embroider the nose first and we're going to insert the yarn, the orange onto the darning needle. Okay, and what I want you to do is that I want you to go around and determine what is the front of your face and just looking at the photo just seeing where approximately it is and all you just want to do is that you just want to go underneath probably two posts just like so and I want to do it so that I can just leave an extra long tail on the other side and then just coming across the front and back across again and do it one more time. Okay, so we can pull everything nice and tight just like that. And so then all I'm just going to do is that I'm gonna take this now and I'm gonna go across one more time and then down through the project. Okay, so then I'm gonna take that one off and then this one here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just go into the project and through. So just cross and then back down. Okay, so there is my carrot nose and all I have now is that I have these hanging out of the bottom. I wanna just trim them. And I know you're thinking all oh, these are hanging out of the bottom. Well, not for long. Just gotta manipulate it a little bit and they will pop right into the project. There you go, gone. Okay, so there is your carrot uh, face here. So let's now start working on the eyes. So let's start working on the eyes. Again, leave an extra long tail to begin. Sorry, the, just leave an extra. So let's begin working on the eyes. Just uh, insert the yarn onto the needle. And all I'm just going to do then is that I'm going to start up this time and I'm gonna come up through the bottom and then I'm gonna come out to where I think the eye should be up here. Okay, so just going up and what that will do is it will hide that end in. So don't pull it all the way through. It just popped through now. Leave it there 
And so what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna go around where I think the eye should be. So I'm just gonna wrap around once. So that'll hold that stable. Okay, so you have a choice. You can either do an embroidery eye. So if you wanna do the embroidery eye, all you have to do is just wrap this around twice. Okay, so watch that. So wrap that around twice and then coming in and back through. And this wrapping around twice will cause it to puff up a bit. So all I'm just gonna do then is just going in to the opposite side and coming through and you have your one eye. So then all I'm, uh, next I'm going to do is that I'm gonna come it across and then I'm gonna just pop in and I'm going to come out where I think the other side of the eye should be. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go on the opposite side just to go around of kind of what I just did before. Just do it the equal number of times. I did it a total of three times. Like that. And then once I'm done with that, I said I'm just gonna pop in and down through the project and at the bottom like I did with the carrot. carrot. Okay. There we go. So now I'm just going to trim that just like you see here. And again, I'm gonna fluff, and get it trapped underneath, and there is the eyes so far. So now what I'm going to do then is move on to the buttons. So the buttons, there's only two of them as you can see in the diagram. If you wanna put three, it's up to you. If you have extra yarn left on your, your needle, you can do that. And if again, just coming up through the bottom, let's get it started. Just roughly eyeing out where you wanna put them. Remember that you'll have a scarf to apply, so you might wanna put it in further apart so that there's a longer strand on the interior. There we go. So just in and I'm moving across. And I did the eyes with like three across. Okay, and for this one I'm gonna do four and then I'm gonna just shift up and do the next button up. Try and keep it equal as much as I can. One, two, and three. And then coming back in and then coming back out the project somewhere else. Down and there is my button. Okay, and then all I'm just gonna do is trim and puff it. So it gets stuck on the inside. There you go, done. And now I just have to do a little scarf. So let's do that next. So let's work on the scarf together. Just a green color. Leave an extra long tail at the front end of this so that you can deal with it later. And I need you to only chain 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Once you have that done, all you're just going to do then is just trim it and pull that loop through and pull it nice and tight on both sides. Now you have a choice. The original here that they had is that this scarf can be removed at any time. So what you can just do, if you, if you feel like it's gonna get lost uh, over the years, what you can just do is just drag the hook in behind the snowman and just pull it through one of these. And so therefore on the back side of it, the scarf is actually going through the snowman so that it'll never fall off, okay? So then what you're just gonna do is then you're gonna tie this scarf onto the character. So let's just do that. Just make sure it's kind of equal. So it's just a one, it's not a bow tie or anything, it's just a kind of a crossover, okay? And then you can pull on them relatively tight if you want to. And there is your snowman. So you can now trim this out, 
Okay, just relatively close because you pulled on it nice and tight and there is a scarf and you can adjust it any way that you wish. If you wish to use glue and tack it down, that's up to you. So what are we missing? We're missing the dangly thing to hang up from the tree. So let's do that next. So let's do the dangly thing hanging from the tree. Just leave an extra long tail again and you're only gonna chain eight. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Done. Just trim this. And pull tight and tight on both sides. And then what I would probably recommend you do is just put both of these strands through the darning needle at the same time. And go to the top of your snowman. So top of the snowman where it will hang. Okay. And just pull it through. I'm not pulling the loop through. I'm only pulling the, the extra strands through. Okay, and then just go right up over top of it again. Come back around. And then this time go through the loop. Okay, see, so just pull everything nice and tight. And then once you're satisfied with that, just go in and out of the top three times. So one, and just put these back onto your hook. Or sorry, put these back onto your darning needle. They're a little bit different lengths. So that was one. And two. So just go right across. And three. And now just fluff and adjust. And again, you can use a, a glue gun if you wish to tack things down if you wanted to. I, I always like glue, so I would probably tap down right here at the very top here and therefore you have your snowman. So, so you have different ways of implementing that. But again, my, you know, everybody's creativity is slightly different, but then that's just the way the game is played, right? So until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Here is the snowman and this is another free pattern by Yarnspirations.com.